Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Taurus and Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for September 3rd to September 9th 2018. So while I will do the shuffling here, I um, want to remind you that in case you are interested in a personal reading, uh, everything that you need to know is my website and it is uh, listed down below in the description of the video and in there you can find the the list the full list of services as well as it's their pricing so tarot and lenormand reading we're going to go to the tarot reading first and we have four cards for the uh, weekly reading and uh, the first card which falls into the position topic of the week sits there then the second position it's about the core of the situation what makes the uh, theme the topic of the week ticking followed by the challenges this is something let's say negative or hard that you have to cope with and the last one because I am kind of stressing on that card because recently I had some comments and people don't really understand what a position means into one spread so card variates in what kind of a position is so in negative position even if you have a positive card it's still it's kind of like obstructing you so it manifests itself into rather unpleasant way anyway so um, Let's see what topic you got here, Tauruses. Now, this is going to be the two of wands. Very funny. I was just thinking about that card. So, uh, <clears throat> two of wands. As you can see, the man is, is uh, the man on the on the picture here is trying or kind of it is surveilling which field or which land to conquer um, further after he uh, kind of like being able to establish himself on the top of his castle. Therefore, um, this week is going to be mainly you stepping on a certain checkpoint that you have reached currently and uh, trying to uh, kind of exert further your personal skills and your personal capabilities, either regarding one career or either regarding one relationship. This week is going to be rather more dynamic when we do have that card, Tauruses, because this card, as with improvement, this is an improvement through aggression. And just to give you an example here, because I like to support my words with examples, not leave you hanging uh, in there baffled by what I'm saying, is um, let, let's give you a career example. So you kind of like, uh, let's say, um, had a certain qualification finalized recently or you have studied something or you have mastering a skill of yours, etc, etc. And now you are trying to fit in the grand scheme of thing and exert that skill into your already um, ongoing undertakings. And maybe you will not be able to find a way how to kind of incorporate that skill in there. Uh, from the very beginning, you know, and that could provoke a, a certain state of aggression because it is kind of understandable that you will want to try to, you know, do what you have recently learned or recently mastered um, straight away, you know, at this very moment. So a little bit with that topic, patience is a virtue here you know try to research first before you jump into that undertaking regardless is it going to be in career or in relationship and now if we, as as i mentioned especially if we're talking about relationship here tauruses you have to be very careful because when we do have that card one it kind of says and this isn't me saying it it is written by or alistair crowley you know i'm kind of quoting him quite often here but he says that when one charge under the energy of the two of wands forward if one is way too tenacious and one is aiming to have everything one could be left with nothing so that's why you have you have to be a little bit more patient compassionate as well you know 
especially if you're dealing with other people and try to research first before you actually jump into resolving that undertaking of yours either regarding relationship or either regarding career and the core of the situation here is that we do have the sun card so this is what makes the two of wands taking or what what makes the two of wands taking place and here the sun card very positive one it does look like the two um, were able to reach a certain natural unfoldment of your development which means that that will be truly not just a milestone but a, a, a finalization of an important cycle of yours and that finalization happens through um, how can I express it happens happens through as I said it's natural unfoldment in the sense of that uh, that was something you have been meant to do or you have been meant to experience all right and also when we have the sun card as the core here of the situation it means that you are going to face everything that it is uh, yours to take uh, to take under your wing and you know start developing it during the week with a lot of passion and you know and a lot of vigor as well and uh, literally when when you do so you know you will want to achieve even more than uh, than what is asked from you so it, this is from where the aggression comes so <clears throat> This time around, I will give you an example which, uh, with a relationship situation here, Tauruses. So, let's say that you are planning a, a certain trip with your, uh, with your partner in relationship here. Trip, it is already settled down. You are very excited about it. That is the natural unfoldment of the situation here, you know. And now you are waiting the trip to happen. Therefore, you are kind of like researching, reconnoitering, how can you have the best possible experience there. And you may have a few ideas in your mind, you know. For example, I don't know, you know, visit the... Uh, sightseeing etc etc there but um, the aggression here kind of manifests in a sense that you may not kind of ask the opinion of your partner and schedule all these activities on your own on your behalf and when you go there and your partner finds out that you have scheduled everything without their contribution into it they either are going to kind of like deny you or they will kind of um, take the plane <laughs> and flew and, and and flying back into where they they went to that vacation so that's why you have to be kind of like engaging when it comes especially with um, tackling with people for the duration of the week but anyway uh, if you are more careful as I said with your approach uh, then you will have no problem whatsoever and you will be able to spur your um, your field of manifestation uh, then the next card it is the challenges what you have to cope with now we do have the moon card and the moon card is sitting next to the sun card <clears throat> so the moon card it is associated with vagueness it is associated with uh, insecurity as well because one it cannot predict very well what is going to happen kind of fits with the two of wands you know you may um, <clears throat> You may schedule all these things, you may try to exert and incorporate your skills and knowledge, but toward what end, Taurus is. And especially when we do have the moon card here, even if you start manifesting, um, <laughs> the results of your effort may not come instantly and that may... Uh, put you into a state of despondency thinking that you have wasted all that time and energy to learn uh, and to manifest skills or to put toils behind scheduling for example the trip with your girlfriend or with your boyfriend etc etc but the moon card is very situational and it is um situational in the sense that it has its time you know it's kind of like it shrouds the um, your environment and it kind of like uncovers it as well with the same um with the same unexpected sentence than uh that that it is shrouded it therefore uh what you have to do here is just wait it out all right whatever thoughts you have for that something is going to be ruined or uh, you know your partner for example doesn't love you or your boss is thinking about firing you etc etc this is just in your mind because your imagination here will be the challenge or um, 
the correct expression is to tame your imagination. That will be the challenge here. So rather you have to be more grounded and the research and the reconnoiter as well is going to help you big time with it. So this is another positive um, benefit that you can extract from being more patient and uh, more, you know, and research a little bit more about your environment and about your surrounding. And the last one is the guidance here. That will be the hangman. <coughs> card and guidance wise very broad card because the hangman in some cases apart from uh, situations being set at how you know futile efforts etc etc all these key words that are written in the book uh, in the books sometimes the the uh, hangman also means a, a test of faith so uh, the universe or the fate or God or the divine, whatever you believe in, you know, is sending you that time, the time of um, temptation, you know, to manifest straight away. But in the same time, you have to pull yourself a little bit back so you can research your environment and you, t you need to tame your imagination as well about what worse possibly could happen. That is a, a time of test of fate and I pretty much covered it up, the meaning of this card as a guidance. You only have to wet it out. This is, whenever you have the hangman into you, into a reading and especially if does expresses predicaments there guys, only thing you need to do in order to overcome this, these predicaments is to wait them out. There is nothing else you can do here. Uh, because this card expresses up a storm that it is coming and it's just a storm is coming and you cannot do anything against the storm you know just as fast the storms goes away or it scatters and there the the, um, the sky will be put into light again so pretty much that was uh, the tarot reading here just to summarize on it it's kind of like it will be a, a productive week for you but you have to be uh, more calculative, should I say, in order to capitalize on recently learned skill, developed situation, plans that you have made, or a, a research that you have um, trying to push through. All right, so let's see what the Lenormand has to say for you. Okay, so the first card of the Lenormand is the scythe. So the scythe doesn't have a meaning. The scythe cuts the next card. So it's kind of like, it, it not exactly negates it, but let's say reverse its meaning. So the next one, that will be news. So the scythe is going to cut a news. So you will not receive any news about a, a male. So if you are expecting a news from a, a male or a male uh, or a male friend of yours or a co-worker etc etc is trying to reach out for you for a certain reason they will not be able to and that could be connected with the hangman where where as I said that card usually means delays and in your case a taste of fate so um, <clears throat> yeah if you are expecting a certain news approval here um, you know uh, or a contract to be signed etc etc phone calls uh, they may not come in this week <clears throat> for various reasons which are not your concern and they are not your fault so that being said Tauruses this was your uh, weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again if you are interested in a private reading with me all that you need to know is my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find the list of the services and their pricings as well. So Rat signing out now, see you next time, bye!